Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be taking on a stage that I honestly kind of forgot came out recently, and that is the Vegeta's Family Extreme Super Battle stage. I believe it dropped about two to three days ago, but nonetheless, we're going to do it now, and hopefully very quickly, because I do have to run in about 30 minutes. So anyways, Here's a quick look at the team. We got the friend L, R, Trunks, and Vegeta. Uh, for my lead, I have a Int, Majin, Vegeta because unfortunately I wasn't able to pull the L, R, Trunks, and Vegeta. And uh, we also have the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, uh, STR, L, R, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, L, R, S, S, B, Vegeta, the STR God Vegeta, and finally Int, GT, Vegeta. So basically a full Vegeta team with uh, Trunks in the LR, of course. So, with all that said, we're gonna jump in here and get the run started. Like I said, we're on a bit of a time crunch. Uh, I think I'll be able to record this video in about 10, 15 minutes, and then maybe like some minor editing if I need it, and then I gotta upload it and run. I think we'll make it though. I think we'll make it. Okay, so. Uh, let's go for the Kid Goku. We're facing Kid Goku and Grandpa Gohan, and uh, you know what? Just to be safe, I am gonna pop an Icarus, although I don't think we'll need it, but better safe than sorry. There's a chance that maybe like the GT Vegeta gets super twice, and we can die that way. So obviously, yeah, obviously the LR is gonna be fine. I don't expect them to take much damage. That's still a lot more damage than I expected though. <laughs> That's a lot more damage than I thought they would take. So with the Icarus, we still took about 200k between the two supers, right? So I have to remind myself sometimes that like extreme super battle road, even though it's not super hard anymore, you know, the enemies still hit pretty hard, right? So like we have to be smart about our item usage and we can't get too overconfident so I think the item was a very good call there and we should be able to finish off Kid Goku here hopefully crit come on uh, um, oh he's dead okay good good okay so we just have the Grandpa Gohan and let's see how we're gonna do this rotation um if we do the two LR Vegetas that's not a bad rotation let's put the SSB in the first slot Okay, that's just the 12k super, and that should be an 18 key for the Super Saiyan 4, nice. And I think the best rotation that makes sense would be the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the GT Vegeta, right? Because they both have Saiyan Roar? I think so, I think so. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that rotation, obviously the other rotation is uh, whoever with the LR Trunks and Vegeta, because they are gonna be mostly carrying us, at least defensively, and probably a little bit offensively too, but mostly defensively throughout the event. Now, um, going back to what I was saying before, yo, this Grandpa Gohan hits really hard, man. <laughs> we just took 200k. We still have the Icarus active, so that's with the 35% damage reduction, and he's still hitting us for 200k. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of insane. Of course, this is not like the best possible Vegeta's family team we could have brought far from it but I still wasn't expecting to be this close to death this early on in the event we'll still be fine obviously I'm not really too overly concerned although maybe I should be <laughs> maybe I should be um I'm not gonna pop another item just cause it feels weird to use two items for one fight on Super Battle Road, even if it is extreme Super Battle Road. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a little nervous, man. I'm getting just a little bit nervous. Also the fact that of course, we got that time limit. So I'm trying to get through this as uh, efficiently as possible. So that is the first fight, you know, not too bad, not too bad, not too many issues. Just, yeah, taking a lot of damage, man. Taking a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake to heal up, of course, and also get the additional damage reduction because it looks like we need it. 
and um, damn, I really don't want to put a Super Saiyan. 4. I mean, Super Saiyan Four Vegeta's defense is quite good actually after he supers, so he should be okay there. Obviously, Majin Vegeta would make the most sense, but I think Super Saiyan Four Vegeta can tank that too. Okay, so let's go for Goku. That's going to be a full 24k super. We are going to get a nice 24k super with the Vegeta as well. Sorry, they're all Vegetas. The uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then... Maybe I should have gone for the Gohan, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, like... There's mostly Gohan attacks in the second slot, right? So if we killed Gohan before he had a chance to attack us, then we wouldn't have to have worried about those attacks. In the middle. But I think it doesn't really matter either way. Because once again, you know, we have the Princess Snake, we have Vegeta, who is quite a good tank. Um, w I mean, not, not not like a great tank, but, oh, okay. <laughs> As I was saying, um, he raises his defense by quite a bit after he supers, but clearly not enough. Clearly not enough. Okay, alright. So, uh, this turn we're gonna go for the Whis, not gonna play any games, not gonna take any risks. Um, we're gonna take out Goku as quickly as we can, and then... Uh, we should be fine after that. I think. I'll give these to Blue Vegeta, and then I'll give these to God Vegeta. Yeah, I think we're fine. Hopefully a couple of additional supers from the Trunks and Vegito. Well, at least one additional super. At least one additional super would make me feel okay. Alright, so no additional super there. Maybe a couple of supers from we're saying Blue. That works. That works. One more. Let me see one more. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, additional attacks, no supers though. Not a huge deal. Um, God Vegeta could get hurt unless he guards, which is a great chance, right? I think it's 70% chance to guard, but it's still not guaranteed. That's why I hate units that have a chance to guard. Even if it's like a really good chance to guard, it's still has the potential to let you down, right? It still has the potential to like not proc when you need it the most. Okay, luckily <laughs> he didn't super us there because that could have been bad. Um, now this is kind of an interesting situation. Um, we still have Whis active, so I think we wouldn't die from taking a super. But we'll probably take a lot of damage if we get supered. Or maybe not. Maybe not. It doesn't really matter because we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him with this uh, SSB attack. So it's all good. But I do think he would have taken some damage from a Gohan super. Okay. So it's been a while since I've had to think this much. You know, for Extreme Super Battle Road. Of course, I recognize if I had a second Trunks and Vegeta, it wouldn't be nearly as hard, or it wouldn't be nearly as much of an issue, but I don't have that option, so I gotta play around it, and it's definitely been somewhat of a challenge so far, I gotta be honest. Okay, um, let me think about this for a second. We have Whis, right? So, first slot's gonna be totally fine. Question is, what's going to happen in the second slot with our Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta? Um, he's going to raise a lot of defense, right, with his attacks, so... Yeah, he'll probably be okay. <laughs> Your famous last words right there, though. 100% we're going to die now. I, I, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel like it's not going to go so well for us. Yeah, this is bad. This is a bad time. Okay, well... um. Could have been worse. 
could have been worse. Of course, we weren't stacked up by any means, but uh, still tanked that pretty well, I would say. Um, additional supers are nice to see because we haven't really been getting them throughout this entire run. And uh, now we're gonna build that, build up that defense, and this super should be, should be light. There we go, 46. That's what I thought. Okay, so we got both supers out of the way on our best tank. That's exactly what you want to see. And and now we're just chilling for the rest of this, rest of this turn at least. And the next turn, I'm not gonna play any games. I'm just gonna pop the princess snake. Or maybe Aider makes more sense. Let's go with Aider, actually. Yeah, let's go for Aider because we get the full heal and also some additional defense. Um, I feel like the double stacking of damage reduction is just overkill. So let's go for the Aider. And... Um, yeah, there's too many AGL attacks in the first slot. So I'm going to go... God, Vegeta at the end again. I kind of feel like he wasn't really worth bringing on the team, but it is what it is. And yeah, let's uh, just go for the AGL Goku. I know we have type disadvantage there, but I feel like after the SSB attacks, he's only going to have a little bit of defense left, or sorry, a little bit of HP left, so we can probably finish him off even with type disadvantage because I don't want the God Vegeta to be taking any attacks at the end there from the AGL Goku. So hopefully we finish him off. This should do it. If it's a crit, it's definitely gonna do it. If not a crit, we'll probably still kill him. And no, he's still alive, damn, okay. Still alive. Well, God, Vegeta's gotta finish him off here. He's gotta finish him off here. Let me see a crit, let me see a crit, come on. Come on. Can't take that Superman. Can't. Oh, he got a stun. Okay, that's clutch. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that and the additional super. So he's probably dead either way. But the, the the stun makes me feel much. Wow, he's still alive. Damn. Okay. Somehow we left him alive. Um. Yeah. Let's just go for the Icarus now. Go for the Icarus. Um, obviously, I want to finish off the Goku. It feels like a waste to use a super. Um, yeah, on, on the Goku. But we got to kill him. So let's just go for that. And then uh, I'm going to keep the GT Vegeta in the middle. Because of the type of advantage to the Go Bros. And uh, I guess we'll give these blue Vegeta okay as expected amazing tanking this should be fine as well yeah 107 <laughs> I want this unit so bad man I want this unit so bad but they'll come back right they'll come back I have the I have this the the coins for it so I'll probably buy at least one copy or maybe I'll pull them if I get lucky we'll see who knows but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter right now. Um, we got like a minute before I really have to, you know, uh, start uploading <laughs> the video basically. So we're making about, about the time I expected really. I expected to do this stage in about like 10 to 15 minutes. It looks like it's gonna be right around 15 minutes, which is okay, which is okay. And, uh, yep, yep, good job, Vegeta, on tanking that. Let's, uh, ooh, okay, let's go for the active skill right here. Yeah, the OG active skill animation along with the LR Super Saiyan 4, uh, Goku. And I gotta say, man, it still kinda holds up. It still kinda holds up, you know? Obviously, it's not on the same level as a lot of these newer active skill animations, but like this one, for example, but it still looks pretty clean. I gotta say the LR Super Saiyan 4's active skill animations, not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay, well, that is gonna do it. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Does like no damage, but it doesn't matter. And we still get the KO screen, so 
we're good to go. That is Vegeta's family, Extreme Super Battle Road. Definitely, at least like personally, you know, based on what I have, the units available to me, uh, one of the hardest Extreme Super Battle Road stages that I've done so far. Maybe the hardest, I don't really know. I don't really remember having to think as much um, for other stages recently, so. It was, it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough, I gotta say. So, there you have it. We got some nice skill orbs, which I'll definitely find a place for. And, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time as always. And uh, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time... Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.